they definitely have a, a pretty sick late game draft here from Fnatic. Highlight Eye and DJ do have the roll in. They have Cold Feet, Chilling Touch, and they have a target in Cuckoo. They will have to battle through the cogs, but hey, now's as good a time as any. Here comes Snowball. Will drop DJ in the cogs? Because that happened. Okay, now Triple Raise. He's just dead. Uh, he's going to pull it off. Someone's going to pull it off. Sam H is going to phase shift, and Cuckoo's going to chug down that salve. It has a bottle as well, but Pilot is going to come in and cancel it. He can't really do much to the SF, though. He's going to right-click him a handful of times. And Pilot Eye now stuck between a rock and a hard place. Nightmare up, and there are a couple raises left. One, two, gets the kill. Cuckoo now away from DJ. Is not going to get frozen in place thanks to the cold feet, and he'll just slip away. Hims is going to get a very quick level six for a four position. Cuckoo is still... Just roaming around as the SF, just looking to blast down Eternal Envy most of all. And oh, Pilot dies in a little bit of trouble here. Raven giving him a nice little hug. Frog for these weird numbers. Still, Timbersaw is going to be like an immovable rock. Oh, Snowball is going to disappear actually. And they just turn around, coil Eternal Envy. He does not have another summon. He's going to try to hug Cuckoo, try to dodge these raises, but he's just taking right clicks the entire time. So. In the meantime, he's just getting beaten down. Now the hook shot in onto DJ. Tim's is not going to let him go. One point batter assault just for the slow, and DJ is not going anywhere anytime soon. Throws out some shards, not going to do many favors for him. Flare at this point with the soul ring, so rip onto the Underlord, and here comes, well, a timber chain. Mostly the chalk, though, the whirling death doing the damage. Brain zap as well, so much pure damage. Super dead on top. No one hero can really easily deal with Raven. Abed trying to go for Cuckoo, but. What is happening for Fnatic? And yeah, Timmersaw is going to go for the Bloodstone next. DJ is going to capture Tim's. Walrus Punch is there as well. Cogs, uh, I'm not really sure if Cogs will even do anything for him. I think the worst case scenario is he gets sundered and then bursted, but they are going to rotate a lot of heroes in. Cuckoo has a lot more to fear. Lance coming in. Snowball here as well. Cuckoo is going to use himself to dodge that damage right now, but he's going to land into a whole mess of heroes, including an Ice Blaster to kill him off from Pilot Die. Raven also got hit by that, so he doesn't have that additional regeneration. He's going to put up the barrier. Takes no damage now, and with the reactive armor up, will actually just take no damage <laughs> even further in this fight. Will Timber Chain out and should be just fine. Fnatic will crash in, kill Cuckoo. Does take their entire team, though. And now Raven's gonna oh, blow up by Lai Dai and almost gives DJ as well. He's very low on mana, only two stick charges. Eternal Envy doing about zero damage versus Raven. Now they're gonna run into 1437. Oh, nothing was casted actually. The Snowball's gonna protect them for a little bit, but they still have that grip. And where are you going, DJ? There is no escape that way. Raven has a Chakram, and that'll get them a double kill for this Timbersaw. In the meantime, Sam H is still on the bottom lane, not even needing this engagement. He's a little bit late for that one, though. The catapult has already arrived, and Raven's actually going to teleport back towards bottom, so they barely put any damage into the structure. Now, Abba's going to be caught by 1437, gets nightmared. Pilot Eye is able to take it off, but there is no grip just yet from 1437. Actually held that for quite a long time. Still, they have the Ancient Apparition, who's going to get absolutely obliterated. Abed will teleport out in the trees. In the meantime, mid lane. What happened here? They were able to jack up. Cuckoo does have the Yule Scepter to dodge these shards. Don't instantly die, but he will go down. The Death Requiem doing a lot of damage. Sam H dropped the coil. There's no real follow-up here. Tim's has a hook shot. Ohio is going to try to bring them out. The Chakra misses, though. They no oh, drop Ohio. That means Eternal Envy is also in a lot of trouble. He's going to get silenced out of his Sunder. Where is this SF? He's actually pushing bottom lane, of all places. Going to go for a two-rax play, perhaps. Ohio's going to drop all of his spells, and it'll do a little bit of damage to the Timbersaw, but definitely not enough to get him within kill threshold. Tower is going to be chunked down as Cuckoo's going to make his rotation in. Sam is going to jump right in onto Abed. Just doing a little bit of damage here. Not going to deploy the coil just yet. And everyone else is going to focus down onto the melee racks. Raven, really not the strongest place for a Timber Saw to be in right now. Not many trees here, so very few options for Timber Chain. Just got to have that Whirling Death and Chakram as well as that uh, Blast from the Shiva's Guard. But it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Cuckoo's in a little bit of trouble. Did they have a Force Staff? He needs his help right now. He is going to shatter as soon as he lands. And he will go down in this position with no force staff. His TNC are just slowly but surely pulling more and more ahead. This status quo where Fnatic are just absolutely terrified to leave their base. Oh, four staff out to the grip. One, four, three, seven with the plays. Here comes the Requiem and there goes Ohio. Oh my god, that was clean as hell. One, four, three, seven. The baller plays from the Bane. They do Sunder up Raven. Can they kill him? Maybe they can. They Nightmare to give him a little more protection. He's going to get Walrus Punch out of his chain. Has the suicide and will kill himself. Feels bad, man. But here comes Sammy. He's going to jump in. Snag Pile I Die because it's an AA. That's what you do as a puck. He will take some damage here, actually. Doesn't have any more tools to get out. 
He has another phase shift. Stunned from the snowball. He will orb and phase shift out. Soul Vessel still ticking though. Sam Mage, I think, is dead to it. Especially when Albad comes in, so they will lose the puck. But immediately the Timber is gonna rejoin the fight. Cuckoo's still very healthy, should have full souls, and he does. Useful items are concerned. Cuckoo is in a precarious position, will actually dodge that lance. And Ohio's gonna shuffle on in to man root, but everyone gets four stabbed out. The Ice Blast's gonna come in, Lancer Raven and to Tim's. They've separated Abed though, in a lot of trouble with this Phantom Lancer. They will brain sap the wrong one. Cog bump back once again. Will charge right back in towards Cuckoo, but he'll dodge it with the Yule Scepter. He'll land his souls in a really precarious position. Pops the BKB just to dodge that lance one more time, and it looks like he will be able to get out to safety. Gonna send a couple of goons there, and we'll make short work of that bottom lane. Top lane as well to be right clicked by the real right clicker in the SF. They will catch the Timber Saw. He does have the cheese, but he's actually just fine. Sitting in the middle of everything, he's taking like no damage. How is he taking no damage from this at all? He's now at half HP, but he has the cheese and he can actually use it freely because he's not hit with that chill effect. He's gonna timber chain right through absolutely everyone. Hook shot back in once again, and it looks like the Underlord's TP out was canceled. Ohio is going to be put into the snowball, it looks like, but I don't know if that's actually gonna save him. He's stuck in the jock room, so is DJ. Instant double kill for Raven. Everyone's gonna start buying back. Eternal Envy is really worse for the wear. He has to go back into his fountain. They will capture Raven. Sam H also taking some tower shots, but he has the orb out with the phase shift. He's keeping himself safe. So they're going to. Start crashing in on bottom side. Jump in. Cuckoo lands a sheep stick onto Terror Blade. One, two, three. Raises lots of damage. Eternal Envy is going to get hook shot, but he gets yanked out. He'll be just fine. He's going to sunder up and kill off the clock. We're going to hurry. Lance, double four stabbed out. Tim's actually going to glimmer away from it and survive. Gets handed the refresher shard or is going to unbackpack it rather. So he is going to have another hook shot if he really needs it right now. They find Cuckoo in the front lines. Yule Scepter is there. Has a blink out right after. No, he can't use it. He can pop the BKB and pop the Requiem and a blow up Eternal Envy. Immediately buys back. But they've lost their supporting crew as well. Another Pit of Madness does go down as Abba is chucking in all the illusions he could possibly get his hands on. Cuckoo is kind of banged up right now. EE going to move on in, but he does not have his metamorphosis. So what can he really do here? Raven's running a little bit dry on mana. Is going to chow down on the cheese though. It's good for you. It's calcium. And now the Rack's in a little bit of trouble here. Abed once again sending in all the illusions he could possibly muster. They get the Sheep Stick onto Eternal Envy and they blow him up. He just bought back. So he is gone for good. And gone for good also, those initials are GG. Which Eternal Envy is going to call TNC. Funding the game with almost a 50k network lead. My god, that's a gold advantage. And it's slow and steady. You know, obviously Juggernaut with the spin. Slark can pack off that uh, damage debuff. Is going to take a couple of right clicks here. Sentry on the deck, so EE -E is spotted. Wow, Tim's actually uh, is a little bit lagging here. Eternal Envy is still taking a lot of damage, though. Has stick charges, has spin. Will be forced out. Sam H going to cut right on through, though. They're still going for this one. They got him with the right clicks from the Bounty Hunter, thanks to the Orb of Venom. And, of course, that cut through into an Anchor Smash, which still does. You really don't want to be getting a lot of Aphotic Shield in this matchup, because, you know, it's not really good. You kind of have to. Oh, Tim's. The poke at Abed still a little bit more. Obviously, taking a lot of damage and harassment from Tim, but he's not really going for a kill here. He's just trying to. Oh, well, suddenly 147 out of nowhere with the chair. Abed does have stick charges here, but he's gonna get maledicted. He does get the kill, but with Plaza Fields coming out, level four Shadow Shaman, level four Ogre Magi with a half HP Razor. That is a viable kill. 147 is in the area, but he's not too healthy himself. Abed is here with Ball Lightning. I think he might be able to kill off the Witch Doctor by himself to actually see him. Now Raven's caught. Big ball lightning in, and that should be a very easy kill, and it will be. Raven to fall, but up towards top lane, Eternal Envy on the run. Sam H, oh, look at look at this BM from Sam H. They have to kill off this healing ward. I don't really know if they were trying to do that. But uh, Eternal Envy is actually still pretty healthy on this top side. Level 4 only on this tide. Cuckoo is going to show himself off level 8. Eternal Envy is on the run, but... Like, he doesn't actually take that much damage from this Tide Hunter. Missiles and Laser will do a little bit more. Sam H still taunting. Laser is there with the Omni Slash. We'll bounce through between two, but Eternal Envy now going to try to be out. That's not going to happen, bro. Abed, DJ looking to dive. One for three, seven. Short ball lightning in. They have vision of him. Should be a pretty clean kill. Yes, it will be. DJ is going to drop the Serpent Wards. Tower fortified, but probably is going to fall here. Cuckoo cannot really get close enough. Otherwise, Pilot Dive is just going to jack him up. Missiles, that's a low level missile. That was only level one. That did about no damage. Tim's gonna give them full vision here. They are just losing structures. Pilot Eye's like, screw it, I'm going in, boys. Is that the Tinker? I can't tell. That is Cuckoo, he's stuck in the trees. 
March, March, March. Abed, he's gonna try to go in for it. He's gonna find Cuckoo, but Sandwich is here with the Ravage. Will deploy it, which will land onto the Storm Spear just on the tip. And DJ as well in the March still will drop. Serpent Wards are gonna be committed as well. Cuckoo gets out alive. The tower is gonna be taken down. All towers defended by TNC. Very boldly in this area, 1437 has the cask, and there's no creep support here for Fnatic, so the cask will just destroy them. Raven on the front line with the hood is going to be the target focus. Ball and from Abed will find Cuckoo, who's on the front line, gets Hex up as well. Cask is trying to bounce through. Cuckoo's still alive right now. He's going to get a couple sets of marches as well as a laser off, but that's about it. He's going to go down. Eternal Envy's taking quite a bit of damage here. They get the shackle onto the Raven Razor, but in the march, they will just grind down all these supports, including Ohio's Abedin, who will be end up denying himself Abed Gush. But he will be able to, I think, dodge it and ball ending a very far distance away. Death Ward will do some damage. The missiles as well. Abed has no mana to dodge it. And they'll take down the storm. EE -E in a precarious position right now, but so is Pi and Ohio. Cast gonna bounce through onto both of them. I think they both didn't get maledicted. No, no, Ohio did. He doesn't have borrowed time and he's gonna need some. Too late now, he's dead. Missile 1 onto Pilot Die. Missile 2 and Laser, you're dead, son. Ball and in towards Cuckoo. They pull him out. Cass gonna start bouncing through, but no, actually the spin is gonna prevent that. Cuckoo gonna try to get out of here with the rearm. Ravage from long range is gonna give him some cover, but he does go down, but at a huge cost to Fnatic. They lose absolutely everybody. We'll keep him safe, but the OBS is here. The smoke is gonna be dropped on Eternal Envy. And now he's tracked up, which means missiles are going to start to fly. He can spin it off. The Centaur Stomp is going to be dodged. Pretty well played, but still the missiles are flying absolutely every which way. Pilot Die is going to be consumed immediately. They do dive in towards the Tinker. Lightning is, uh, Laser is there onto Abed, keeping Cuckoo alive. And in fact, with the Glimmer, he will survive and get out of here. Abed, Shuriken, oof, almost casted. In the meantime, though, Raven chasing down Ohio has not much damage stolen. Eye of the Storm is still ticking away. That's not the longest cooldown in the world, but he needs it 100% if he's going to actually fight here. I don't think there's any way for them to actually get in. There's a pipe on Sam H at this point. Racks are just going to be easily taken. And Cuckoo, if he is going to get jumped on by, uh, by Abed, Sam H's barrier from the pipe should prevent a lot of that damage. Alpha Wolf going to give Tinker a means to get in. Now here comes the push in towards the Tidehunter. He's going to crack and shell it. Does have the Ravage still available, but he will go down without it. Oh, that takes a lot of damage here. In the March of the Machines, they're going to try to hunt for the Tinker, but Abed doesn't have enough mana to actually kill off the Tinker, so he's got to run. Missile's going to fly in, kill off Eternal Envy more than likely. And DJ Ohio in a precarious position will be dropped a Shuriken, bouncing through, get them all the kills in the world. Today's Dota, guys, has been so freaking underwhelming. Like, seriously?